up, we have the CEO of Elite Mining, Justin Podhola. Bitcoin has exploded in value. The University of Cambridge estimates the amount of electricity used worldwide by Bitcoin miners is more than all of Sweden or Malaysia uses. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about what the journey of EMI, the journey of EMU. Um, then I'm going to segue into going into a little bit of detail about, you know, what our journey, kind of how it formulated and how arduous and difficult it was for us. So ultimately, for us, we have a very, very humble beginnings and humble, humble uh, start of, of our genesis of our company. Our company is, um, was born of the thought process when there's a brainchild of Eastern Washington, essentially, um, back in 2016, 2017, when we went to, I went to multiple uh, meetings with uh, electrical companies over there, they, co they call them PUDs in Washington State. Um, and in, in that time frame, I learned really quickly that not everyone agreed with mining. And it's really, really important to understand that because as the industry evolves and grows, there's going to be a significant amount of players and people that are just getting around to understanding what mining actually is. These things are important because until that time hits where actually it's globally accepted as a, as a mainstay methodology of cyclical waste, of you know, whether it's solar, green energy, I don't care what kind of energy, it doesn't matter. What matters is is that you're able to run your operations without risk of getting shut down. That's what matters the most. So that's when I, I decided really quickly with my team, my, <laughs> my core team of three people at the time, which we're now up to 50, 50 team members. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, and at that time, that's when I decided, you know what? We have to go with the mobile solution. Uh, mobile solution is really the only key. Now, the question is, is how do I do a mobile solution that's immersion-based? Immersion-based process, uh, especially in a, in a single phase type of immersion, is really, really difficult not only to execute, but also to innovate. And the innovation of our units is second to none. So ultimately, with, with what we've done in the past two and a half years, well underfunded, mind you, well underfunded, we've been able to essentially develop a technology where we have the most, if not the most, one of, the, one of at least the most efficient units in the entire market. So what does that mean? We vertically integrated our company, we opened up the subsidiary EMU, and we specifically have an R&D department that spends all day long every single day developing technologies around immersion. So what does that mean? We actually went ahead, we developed our own cooling systems, so we didn't just go buy dry coolers and go buy typical cooling methods. What we did is we actually built our own from the ground up, from scratch. We built the mobile unit, as you can see in the picture beforehand, from scratch. We don't use containers. What we use is enclosed cargo trailers, essentially. You guys have probably seen around being towed behind construction companies of the likes. And the reason why it's important is because you don't need a CDL driver to transport these things. You'll need a crane on site to drop these things into place. You don't need a foundation, you don't need a pad, you reduce your carbon emissions significantly. People, one of the most important things that everyone needs to realize here is that concrete is one of the worst offenders of carbon emissions, period. People don't realize that. It's really important to understand that. So our product does not use any concrete, nor is it necessary. Our product also is geothermal in nature. So what this actually does is it utilizes the Earth's cool anywhere between um, 55 to 60 degrees, somewhere in that range, depending on 
<clears throat> somewhere in that range, depending on where you're at, and it could be a little bit more. And we utilize that, that God-given, cool, um, uh, cyclical nature of, you know, just cool air coming from the ground, geothermal uh, c uh, capacities there. So, off that topic for a second, I'm running out of time real fast. The most important thing about our technology is that not only did it take us two and a half years to develop, but we're, we've been running in stealth mode for a very, very, very long time. And that's on purpose because we failed again and again and again and again. Very, very, very difficult to build something like this that is not only meaningful in actually changing the trajectory of the entire space, but most importantly, something that is going to enable miners to be able to move their efficient immersion from site to site as they please without having to worry about paying ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 to pick up your entire mobile facility site and go somewhere else if a better opportunity presents itself or your power purchase agreement runs out. And these are things that uh, the industry is, of course, you can get longer term PPAs. That's no brainer. A lot of people are here saying, just get a longer term PPA. That's fine. But five, 10 years is kind of the average, the industry, sta industry standard average. So what exactly, what exactly what we are what exactly what we are is that. That's just pure, blunt, and simple, is that we are absolutely changing the trajectory of the space. We're pushing the envelope with innovation and execution. We're at the intersection between those two things. Every day, we challenge ourselves and our company to make good of the promise that I gave my entire team and the culture we built here at EMI and EMU, and that is to make sure that every single day you put your best foot forward you try as hard as you can, and most importantly, you, give, you develop a good product. Our mission and goal is to develop a good product and deliver it to all of our constituents. So, I said earlier that I had an official announcement that I'm still sleeping in my own bed with my years, 17 years of marriage. Well, the actual real announcement is that we have officially partnered with Minerset. So, Elias, Jim, and the team, what a class act. Absolutely amazing. And uh, for, for us, what we have officially decided to do as, uh, as partners is, so if you go to minerset.com, you'll be able to load up an email, um, purchase through them. Through that, you'll get a discount through us to try our product. I'm not asking everybody here to buy 100 megawatts of our products because we couldn't even fit the bill anyways. There's no way our manufacturing capacity could actually do that. But we're expanding. We're going to Wyoming. Caitlin, Senator Loomis have been awesome. Um, our headquarters is moving there out of Washington. Um, I won't go into the reasons why exactly, but just better political climate, let's put it that way. So all that being said, booze right there for EMU. Another booth right there for EMI. And last but not least, I want to announce our best in North America hosting all in costs of 3.97 cents. Everyone, that's not too good to be true. That's, that's just how powerful immersion is. What we do is we pass on our electrical costs to our clients. And we say, you know what? We care about you in a bull market, or uh, excuse me, <laughs> we care about you in a bear market. And in that bear market, I want you to, I want you to fail. I want to make sure that you're going to be able to maintain your operations. I want to make sure that you're a long-term partnership with us. I want to make sure that all of our clients are happy. Everyone in our team is concentrated on making them happy. And most importantly, that they're successful in their business. So all that being said, see us at our booze. Thank you all very much. And welcome to Miami. <laughs>